Hello everybody and welcome uh, to this build a content management system with CodeIgniter and jQuery part 3. This will be a simple CodeIgniter and jQuery, uh, basically a hello world application using the model view controller design pattern. First off, the model view controller design pattern uh, um, controllers are basically the main um, class or function that that um, grabs the data from the model and does stuff it wants with it and then sends it all to the view which then the view displays it so that's pretty model view controller and uh, that's pretty much a, a simple uh, explanation of it so let's start off I have three files um, my controller first.php model first model dot php view first view dot php so I'm in my first dot php which is my controller and you start the PHP tag, of course. And then all controllers and models are class libraries. And then uh, remember that um, the name is just a capital. The first letter is capitalized, but it has the the class name has to be the same as the fo um, file name. And it extends controller. So all controllers extend controllers and all models extend uh, mo models. <clears throat> now we create our con uh, our um, constructor and parent controller. That just set that's what we need to do so that um, this function tells it to go back up into the the parent library which is controller and basically initializes everything we need. Otherwise we couldn't really do much uh, we couldn't really use any of the objects or anything. And then, how you load things in uh, Code Igniter, you, you can say this load model, or this load view, or library, whatever. But we, we're going to load the model for now. And um, well, our model is first model. And we don't need our, our .php uh, file extension. And then this stuff has to be under the parent controller, so that, um, uh, you know, so that all this is initialized. Otherwise, it, the PHP won't recognize that object. But anyway, yeah. So now I create a function index, and that's basically this. I guess you can call it the second constructor. Once th this function is done, it'll then go to here by default. Okay, and here. Um, I'm going to initialize um, an array of or array of variable data, and uh, at the very bottom we're going to load our view, and then what we're going to do is send this variable data array to the view, so the view can display what we send to it. So that's in the second parameter within load view okay now what we want to do is create an element in data um, let's call it jQuery test where we call on a function within our model that just returns a um, some jQuery code and then of course that's sent to our view and then uh, finally we will um, put it or let's um, echo it onto our view so this And then, uh, since we already loaded that model first, model, so that's now an object, and uh, jQuery, we're going to create a function jQuery in our model. Now, let's do our model. Class first model extends model. Um, now, we don't need a constructor in model. Um, Let's see, what was I going to do here? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, J function jQuery. And it simply just returns. And let's start our script tags. So we have that. And then uh, 
Now, I'm not going to explain this jQuery code much because uh, if you really want to learn jQuery, you should watch some of the specialized tutorials on that, obviously. But anyway, that's just saying, um, well, this dollar sign just tells uh, JavaScript that this is some jQuery code dot ready this list this just waits until all the elements on the page are loaded and then we create an, an anonymous function uh, which then you can put some code in it and then of course you end the um, parentheses and then have a semicolon at the end so now we are going to say variable document look geez document dot click so that's listening for a click on the whole document function let's finish that and then let's just have alerts uh hello world from uh ci and jquery okay so that's pretty simple stuff right there and let's save this so now next and or Finally, we have our view that we need to work on. Now, this won't be a class library, of course. Um, title. I'm going to make it uh, first CIMJQuery app. And whoops, whoops, whoops. Nice. And then our body. And body. And in HTML. Now, oh, first off, in the head, I want to include our jQuery. Okay, so it won't work without that. Now, um, let's say, uh, oh yeah. Now we can use the PHP short tags. This is that little equal sign right there, which just basically says echo and then um, the elements within a, an array passed to a view are stored as a variable so we can say variable jQuery test and that should do it let's let me pause this and we can go try it okay so I'm in my safari here um, and I went to my URL and then um, controllers uh, are in the URI segment so if since we are, we are using our index function right now which um, doesn't actually have to be called um, we just have the class name first as our first segment and then um, if you want if we had another function within there that we want to uh, use as our current controller then we have that function right there and then after that we could have like you know um, parameters passed to it. That's kind of a substitution for get variables in normal PHP. I guess you can say the, the uh, segments after the controller and the method you're using. Okay, and um, this question mark right here that I, I have my URI protocol right now set up, set up as a uh, query string, so that's just how I have it, but normally uh, you'd just have index.php slash first. Okay, so that's, and it works. So, you know, when you click the document, it, hello world from CI and jQuery. All right, that's all for now. Goodbye.